Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Creador. This is Espadín Capon, Agave Spirit, coming in at a 48.4% ABV. Now, for full disclosure, this was a media sample that was sent over for a virtual tasting. I wanted to share it with you here on the channel as well, so just keeping that transparency open. So Creador is somewhat of a newer spirit company showing up here on the shelves in the United States. When it comes to the spirit itself, it's actually being distilled, fermented, proofed down, all that kind of good stuff in Oaxaca, Mexico, and then purchased by Creador here in the United States and bottled here. And I'll be honest, the process that Creador goes through is such a love to the craft. From the clay pots to the clay pot still that's, that's used to create this, it's amazing it is a very small group of people working on this a lot of it family based and they are creating the ideal the idea behind small batch all their bottlings only come at a couple hundred at a time because of how the process is and it's just beautiful to see uh, the photos and videos of their process from them harvesting these to the roasting process to the clay pot aging process, letting them rest in there and fermentation in those same clay pots. It is just a beautiful sign to the love to the craft. Now, capon here is a little bit different. Essentially, the quejote, the stock that comes out of the center of the agave is cut off early. And essentially all the sugars that tend to go up into that stock stay inside the agave for an additional nine months to bring out a more sweeter note uh, with those sugars in there. And it's really an interesting process. And this was actually their very first batch of this that they've created. And if you've been around here on the channel any bit, you know that I love talking about craft spirits. And when you see something like this, I knew I had to share that process with you at home. So let's go ahead and jump into things. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hang around for a bit. If you're interested in some of the other bottlings uh, from Creador, those links will be up above and down below, along with a link to their website. So you can go check them out for yourself, learn about the process, and uh, maybe find yourself a bottle. And again, look at that clear color, beautiful. And being that it's aged in a clay pot, you're not gonna get that impact from a barrel, so it's gonna stay as clear as possible to it. So, let's go for notes. Oh. This is sweet. Cutting off that stalk really does make a difference to it. It is very much a sweet candy to note. And you do get a lot of agave on the nose too. Very much, uh, not a lot of smoky charriness, but sweet and roasted agave. You also get a lot of fruit on there too. Uh, things like almost like a dark cherries and you know orchard red fruits going on. A little bit of pepperiness in there as well. No ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes, but beautiful light spice, but overall very friendly on the nose. It has a welcoming light roasted agave note, a lot of sweet factors going on in here. And with no additives to this, that actually adds to the appeal, in my opinion, because you're getting these sweetnesses of those dark fruits. For me, definitely like a, a tart cherry going on. Uh, let's go for a taste. The sweetness comes across in the taste as well. Nice light agave roasted notes going on in here. But for me, it's got a beautiful cracked pepper going on. Sweet. Uh, again, almost like a candied floss sweetness to it. It's very, very approachable. No ABV, no burn, no harsh aftertaste either. Just easy, friendly sipping on this one. And I gotta give it credit, it's definitely one of the sweetest agave spirits I've ever had. Very approachable. That candy floss, a little bit of white pepper cracked in there, uh, grilled veggies even, that kind of roasted agave note showing up in here. And here in the finish, you do get left with a little bit of a smoky sweet layer going on, which is very nice to kind of end the palate with because it's inviting you to take another sip to keep going back because it is definitely a fun ride to do. Mm. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price. 
and it's always going to vary. Now, when it comes to Creador, this is the definition of small batch. Only 388 bottles of this were created for this run. And it's not due to the fact of forced limitations or trying to cause a scarcity. It's due to the love to the craft. They are a small family and locals working together to create this product. And after seeing their clay pot stills and how they're aging in the clay pots for fermentation, all that kind of good stuff, and the process from the beginning to the middle to the end, I respect that. And again, being that this isn't a forced limitation trying to cause scarcity, it's because of that love. And they don't want to lose that love to the craft. Right now, they're asking $100 a bottle, and I think that's respectable. This is a beautiful sip. Uh, it's another example of doing something different in the agave space without, you know, adding additives or doing unique aging casks or anything different like that. They're doing homegrown, beautifully done agave spirits, and it's respectable. I cannot knock it for that. I love that sweetness factor in there. Changing up by removing that stock does show a difference. It's not just gimmicky or trying to come up with another play on an agave spirit. It actually showcases so much differently than their other bottles. So I got to give it huge props for that as well. And overall, it's a beautiful sip. If you get the opportunity to try this or to find this on the shelf, it's highly recommended in my book. And again, if you're interested in learning more about Creador and some of their spirits, a link to their website will be down in the description area below. Go show them some love. So there you have it, folks. Creador Espadin Capone Agave Spirit. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, may your last trick of the night be the best one. You know, I even like it might not.